right? So I'm just gonna say that they pretty much have no refraction burn in their team. They they don't have any single fast damage instance, and that is a very very annoying thing when you play against TA. On top of this, we've seen the matchup before. The TA walks away from the rest of the damage, unable to capitalize on that in space. Quite able to kill that. It's tough when you don't have the refraction pops. Yeah. Bottom. Quite a bit of pressure on this Dragon Knight. He's not having the easiest times yet. Oh, Kaka top lane. It's going to get popped by the Caustic, isn't it? It's level 2. The Illuminate won't quite grab Kaka. The yeah, HP regen of coming. Nyx. The HP regen of oh, Nyx. The turn around with a stun. He Kaka, levels, you god. He levels up from the creep dying, gets the stun, and what? then stuns back. Wow. That was so close to first blood. So close we could taste it, but... Five steps. So the open wound's out now. Faith doesn't have any reveal, so he can just... Faith doesn't really have anything. He has five tangos to his name. That's about his riches. And uh, mid lane, we're starting to see what happened in the previous match. Uh, PP, not TA. Uh, almost died on top lane, but he managed to walk out of it. He got nightmared up and they tried to right click him a little bit. It'll be fine for now, though. Gets hit with a cold feet and the barrage strike. Beautifully done by that is securing first blood. first blood. Again, exact same time pretty much as game one. That's Between true. Between six and seven minutes. I, I believe, uh, yeah, almost on the second. It was very close. Same time. Uh, Look for Kuro. Nice open wounds into rage will allow the life stealer to shift forward, but the stack has gone. And now Mugi is all alone. Stunned up, running back, has infest and nine one charges, so unlikely to die. Still. Well, pressure on Mugi. He did what he could in terms of. He grabs it up. Oh, he's coming with the, the Hellcaller. Duken! There's Raindrop. Raindrop pop. <laughs> Too exciting. Oh, Raindrop pop again. Mugi. Oh, he jumps out. Man, for KP Kuro. is giving the rundown on Matimba Man under a tower bottom. He's giving him quite the chase, but he's salved up around the tree line. Still, though, KP punishing and S triple C TP top as well. Now gonna enable with a stun here trying to deal some damage but he wants to start pushing a tower because if he TP just straight back to base then he would concede too much control. Sanking now switching down to bottom lane and we have a little bit of a roll reversal. Storm down bottom against mind control. Mid is Miracle's TA behind the tier one but unable to cap the next assassin. Already up. He will drop. Uh, mid lane, they're trying. They're bringing in the Lifesteer. Can they bring down this TA? It would be a massive kill if they can get it. Fraction is still there. Matuma Man arrives, and so does GH. They're low on mana. Oh, God. KP. Oh, the splash back from the side blade. KP's dropping low, and Miracle goes in with the Melstrike. Now the GA arrives. Mookie has to turn and fight for the refraction after the one. Miracle stands tall in this middle lane. Yeah, still really strong. No way. Aka pops in with Vendetta up at top. Mind Control dies down at bottom, but the newbie setting up. For a go here onto GH, Kaka. It should be able to bring him down. The man's done, no. Oh, misses the stun. GH is going to shoot away. He's speedy, he's a man on a horse, but the Infest has long enough range to catch. A final bit of damage now as Faith dies mid lane, defending tier one. TP from the TA. It looks a bit weird without the side blades there, but we'll move forward and stun onto Kaka. Miracle focuses that hit onto KP, but it's time to run a little bit here, I think. There's Matoma Man overstepping his bounds. Kaka, power face up with a man. Now, connect down, Matoma Man. They're so tanky. The nice heal, the Mugi gets just out of range. The burst strike lands, and look at him go. A nice purification from KP will keep him up and running for a little bit longer, but Miracle just relentless, unstoppable damage coming through. He is unstoppable and relentless, but he can't quite bring them down. They have a little bit too high armor, and he does not have the Desolator yet, so fighting here, I think maybe he should just have kept farming the stacks, but going on tanking. Or MC, but he's got a borrow strike out of Sandstorm to get a, a bit of distance there. And yeah, unfortunately, he used his uh, spike carapace very early. If he waited maybe a little bit and then ran on top of him with the spike carapace, uh, he could prevent. The nice out tap. He does not have TP ready, and here comes the gank. First, they send out the life stealer. Meanwhile. Kaka is like, I'm staying in Viz until the last session. Yeah, can steal the last hit as well. Thank you for that. Mid lane faith dies to the rest of it. The blink tank. Again on Storm. Oh. SD is just forward, aggressively looking for a play to make here on Kuro. 
be ready with a purification bomb if required, but miracle yeah. arriving means that they have to kind of. He may back. have been able to get that kill, but it would coming be in. Castle TPs, miracle hiding in the trees. The fiends trip in onto Matsu as Storm zips back and forth, trying to get out of danger. But Matsuma Man is still alive. Kaka needs to get staff. in here. GH saving him and now counter initiation. One controls in, but the GA that will be really nice for the disengage of newbie. Ice blast crosses the river and will land onto a couple of newbie heroes. MC has a blink stun with the target. He jumps in. The vision they've got on the Omni Knight is looking good. No repel for 18 seconds, and with Matu stun, this should secure a kill here onto the... They want to fight this though, night. everyone going in. Cancelled. Oh. They're backing out. Kaka's thinking about going now onto Miracle. Refraction ends. Or a strike onto Faith. Now the storm zipping forward, and nice mana burn onto the Sand King secures that kill. But if you ever step here, sleep onto this little old Templar Assassin, but Kaka dies to the big Illuminator GH. Showing off the strength that he's got as the desolate <laughs> damage onto the Centaur. Run, Centaur Conqueror. Stop. You're a Conqueror. Help. Oh, Prince surviving. Gone on by MC and GH, but they are unable to kill him. Still on about 300 HP after the epicenter and stun. So, some kind of reaction from your opponent or just removing efficiency. Like, Kaka, I think Matsu knows something's happening. They're, they're pinging and like, oh, hey, there's Kuro. a guy here, but Kuro's the one that gets found out. He didn't get the memo. He died. Storm Spirit. Oh, no, he's rude. That is, that is super dangerous. And we've got to watch out those Prowlers. They will take any chance they get. Oh, enemy hero? Yes. Don't mind if I do. Root you up. Root you up. Chase you down, Moogie. Going in here, the first strike does cast KP in the back end. The damage coming in off the TA. No refraction. Now it comes up. Low HP, but Merle gets out. GH can turn this one around with a grip. Onto Matsu, not killing him off, but finally the damage will arrive. Moogie and Kaka secure it. A big illuminate across three or four. Chunk of damage onto the newbie squad. Still no mana leak, though, unfortunately. So not that strong at chasing right here. Great nice stun. double stun. And the AOP is going to connect onto a sanking, and they will burst him down. Smoogie, thinking about going on MC. No reveal again means that newbie cannot They've been capitalize. a little bit sloppy about that. Not carrying enough protection on anyone. It, it's a voice. Oh, oh, nice smoke pop, Kaka. Smoke break. No reveal? Not have any form of reveal. Well, the worst GPM talent ever was the level 15 silence or what? 60. Oh, it's still 60. On 15. That was such a bad time. Man, Kaka is keeping track of them here. Throwing them to his team, but he can't quite get the point of initiation here. They're trying with the Infest Bomb. Obviously, they have Bloodstone on Storm now, but he wants to get some charges going. Oh. One century mid for Liquid, but Kaka's very, very nicely dancing around it. He is. He is. He's doing a great job. Even Heading their way as a sentry gets placed down, immediately taken out by Miracle as oh. control in. Now the zip forward. SE repels up. He's going to zip back against the other side, focusing down onto the TA with a big stun coming through. Mind control is going to get taken out here, surely. No. Oh. Turn around. Three man burrow. A two man kills off SE. And KP's fallen as well. Newbie, what's happened? Just one play from Mind Control has turned everything on its head. That, along with the damage from Illuminate, they're now trying to kill Kuro, gonna get him quite quickly here. But Matumba Man is scary. Infest running away inside oh, the Nyx. Me. Faith nearly dead. Mind Control is having another little fight here. But SC back in battle, looking for the GH castle. One more hit is all he needs. He'll zap forward and get that final touch as Matumba Man full HP, full mana. With Mind Control ready to blink stun, could think about going in onto SC again. Would be massive to kill him twice in the same fight to get that bloodstone charges away. But they killed him once at least. Came back. Some some retribution. But Super that was a very target. They are not going in blind. They go for the AA. Kuroki is blown up. That is a good target actually. Miracle blinks out. Takes away a lot of the risk if you get the AA killed first. You can still always heal up with magic ones and not but as easily. But newbie, they're not going to be able to take it in time. No Everyone interest. is moving over. Rosham loses 2,000 HP, and Liquid give up for now. The carapace yeah. comes out from a trap. Yeah, the, was that a trap? It was a trap. So the way so it works is it, okay. TA is the one dealing the damage. Unlike huh. Techie's Mines, it works different. Oh, Kaka, moving in a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Traps, <laughs> traps, traps, traps everywhere. <laughs> Roshan's still being attempted here by Liquid. Miracle in the pit, three outside. Kaka moves in again. Carapace 
up onto another trap. So Miracle does get stunned at touch. Really but awkward rush attempt here. This is such a standoff. And of course, the infest bomb is ready to be let go on any moment if they can go in. Storms could swing over to the west a little bit. If he goes from up north, that could be a square to the a trap somehow. Symbiotic relationship. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. They're walking away from the one, but the repel instantly. Kaka turns for the stun, and SC's in with the infest bomb. The Guardian Angels out from KP. A newbie, they only lose their bane until Mind Control arrives for the sick epicenter. Kaka, Carapace is back, but he's meld struck and side bladed down by Miracle's DSOTA. And they're chasing KP. There's no way over. escaping. KP Liquid. gets brought down as well. Liquid really showing the strength of their core heroes right now. They're um, right now, actually, it's just come off cooldown, but they're going to get scouted by a range of Oh, Zipper here, Moogie and SC. The Out they come. Oh, but the man comes in real. The Aspar comes through. The Aegis snatched by SC. He's taken it away from them. Liquid, what do you do against this? The Aegis is popped, so SC returns with full HP, full mana. In onto Kuroki, down goes the Ancient Apparition. And Newbie with that one buyback. Absolutely beautiful oh, stuff. Oh, in. Is oh, he going to live here? Storms it in forward, looking for the more. Vortex, but he can't quite get the reach. Just barely gonna get away. Hasted on TA, but no mana really to speak of, so should be a little bit careful as well. Trapping them as they run away here. He's doing some good damage to them with the traps. KP, ooh, gets out. Clutch blink. Another trap though. <laughs> Yeah. Mana leak on Tamuki. This is obnoxious as fuck, honestly. Just <laughs> spells everywhere, but they've got Repel and Rage, and they will walk it off. They managed to get out in the end, and they, they retained the gem. They still have that. Liquid did not lose that. That was a clutch Aegis steal, though. The storm was so cool. Something like that. Newbie squad, if you want to try and deal with these Ghost Zephyrs. Oh, the ward on ward here. A little here. bit awkward double ward. Well, double ward by Dire, and then oh, a ward yeah. next to it as well. So. Kind of wasted, but they wanted to just see the high ground, see if they can jump in and get a pick. Liquid yeah, are like nothing. Nami. Oh, mates. We'll come back to d or that later. We push. We push now. Exactly. There's no big impact since the vision. Oh, they could lead with a carapace on the mid. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach him. <laughs> like, I got stunned, guys. You sure got me. Yep. You never read all the episodes. Oh man, two oh, man, stun into Ice Blast. It catches three, the GA from KP. He was trying to save his buddies, but now SCC with the Infest back to catch one. Looking for the GA to couple, get him as well. This is a really balanced fight between the two of them. But KP, the purification gives him a lot, barely through the Miracle, but now the force that forward. Mind controls Epicenter in on top of Newbie, and the deny from the storm means the Newbie being wiped off the face of the map. One by one, they'll dive in now, but Moogie strong enough to get the high ground and away from Miracle, but Liquid, that ward, perfect yep. for that smoke movement in. Newbie trying to hold their high ground. They need their life stealer to come back. Yeah, he's keeping now towards the tier three. And she starts things off with a little bit of a chip damage here onto Matu with the help of that repel. Chip damage won't do much against the Coddle, though. He's just repeatedly spamming out the heal. But now, the carapace. In best bomb. In with the carapace. Onto Matu. Fiends could be expended as well. That's the DK dead. Chase has to secure them. More kills. GH goes set the four staff TP. Do they have a stun to catch him as he retreats? Yes, they do with a Yule's wow. up from Kaka. Very quickly swinging from one to two to three. Okay. Newbie learning to count with Gary B. Seems yeah, like they. Got a little bit out of position there with the Dragon Knights and didn't quite have anyone who wanted to go in to try and save him. Even Bloodthorn, Bloodstone, Bloodthorn. Blood There's a lot of BKB blood everywhere. There. But yeah, he's got Bloodthorn. He's got the best. BKB is going to be here before 40 minutes for Miracle. So it's, it's looking good still for this TA who has died only once this game. Exactly. If you can get to this point where you're playing without a BKB and you're still able to not die and go. Big old tank. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mind control, no, that's not how you start a fight. An uncharacteristic mistake by Mind Matsu control. hit by the exact end of the impale of Nyx. Miracle jumping in now, an epicenter for MC. He does have a blink borrow, but Faith, the only hero he catches, a GA quickly out from KP with a brain sap to follow. Faith's gonna get hit though by the oh, ice blast and cold speed. On him. And down he goes as the BKB from Matsu Nyx. looking for Kaka. There's the carapace and the stun, but Kaka dead. Mind control, forward strike back in on to KP. A newbie, they're being picked apart one by one, little by little. As he jumps in though now with the infested life, they're jumping out. Matsu will die. But Liquid, they can extract. Dead the support run away this away. time. GH goes Scepter, four staff ready. High ground not available to him, and the stuns are enough to kill off two. Well, Kuro though, he's, you know, slippery sliding away. This little AA wants to live. 
He finds his AOP coming in. Oh, miracle. He wanted Moogie. Toggles his armor off. He's got the Repel and the Lincolns on him, but Mind Control's out of mana and out of space to live here, it looks like. With the gem drop, Taka will pick it up. Buy back immediately. Lifestealer did die in the end, so... Yeah, what Everyone is this? wants to get DJ here. Sanky, Lifestealer, everyone's just going... Ding, ding, ding! Poor Spend our money. Lifestealer made a little bit of a mistake there. He could have infested someone to prevent oh, himself no. from dying, but he... Thought that he was going to be fine, I believe, or he tried to get into someone who ran away from him. Not sure which, but in the end, did not get his ulti off, and uh, he went down today. Ulti. They see them. Great ward here for Dyer. We've seen what wards can do. Maybe on the front foot. Zip forward. There we go. Catch my control. No, it's catching the DK. My control. Die back. Beginning from Matama Mandible. They do enough. Moogie's chasing forward. And Dragon Knight. He's going to run out of duration. He's got no TP and he's getting gripped up by Fink. Newbie. Swinging in hard and strong as they sweep through Liquid. The diebacks are huge. Two diebacks, right? Like Spensive. Cottle. Nice. Full staff. Drifting away. Blinding light. Still not safe, so he has no other escape, only the Ghost Scepter, but they're gonna stop pursuing as DA is around. They're going back towards the Roche. Finish this Roshan. Yeah, I don't want to get distracted. Buyback available. If he dies, oh, Kuro, that would be... He's been found. Yeah. He surely dies here. He, he gets hit. the grab. And that's one more Bloodstone charge. He's up to 18 again. Who took SEC's Bloodstone charges? He takes them back. DA, no buyback. Do not die. So, oh, blink, 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 blink. She blink, does blink. have it. She gets out. Does have the ten charges as well oh in refraction. God. He is gonna be fine for now. That is some scary moment though. Baited. Definitely <laughs> baited, but unfortunately not going to. They're gonna recall in the TA as well in a second. He has five seconds to do that. Call him soon on Coddle. There is no ice blast. Kaka has a vendetta in a couple of seconds as well. The Blinding yeah, Light tries to buy time. In comes though. Look at that. Kaka, you are a freaking god. Mind Control gets absolutely screwed over by the next. Now they move on to Matumba Mac. DC. Oh, DH. Oh, DH tries to slide down to low ground. Buck. Be taken out. Dead. Quickly, they need minute. to react to the bottom lane. There's push already onto their racks here. As DA is pushing. G does not have buyback still if they were to somehow close the distance, but she's quite hard to catch. Blink and them. Catches so he, on the next. Oh, good DH. He has to blink, has to four step, and he's so quick. They oh, don't have four. the storm. He's the number one here for catching stuff. 450 moves to see ya, boys. Okay. Now they turn back, but Kaka's caught by a nice burst strike from Mind Control. Blinding Light pushes them away. Storm coming in. He has Aghanims, he can grab them. Maybe wants to go forward, there's a repel, and the two-man vortex, catching both of the supports. SC has trapped them in, but a big epicenter. That's mind control in battle, doing damage with a big burst strike as well, and Miracle PKB going to work. A nice ice blast with a dying breath of Kuroki, clearing through three of Newbie, and SC is trapped with the Dragon Tail, the stuns from MC, oh, they're gonna and get... Miracle's damage, they've got the kill. Moogie goes for the TP with the rage, oh, the damage <laughs> output is too good, the Aegis is gone. He's gonna die oh, a second no. time. He kind of panicked. I think with the TPing out with very low HP next to them. Now he's just gonna die. That is Miracle. A five man wipe? Six man wipe with the Aegis. Six man wipe, you can say. And uh, they only lost the two supports. They're quite hard to kill. I feel like Storm going in and trying to grab the supports there. He kills them so slowly though, because there's no blink on the Nyx or any other way for Lifestealer to get in there. I think Storm needs to try and get one of these four heroes instead. Because killing off only the supports not gonna be enough. And that's going to be Lane of Rack's bottom, tier 3 middle. SC has respawned. Tries to keep them at bay, but Miracle with his Deso Bloodthorn just ripping apart these buildings. Because there's an AC on Yama. There was a Storm Spirit in that Rack. <laughs> yeah, buyback being used, but it's not really going to achieve anything. They'll continue here. He gets stunned on KP. SC going in. Trying to catch Matsuma Man, but his BKB gives him that nice umbrella of safety. I see running low on mana here. It feels like he's kind of run out of steam as well. Is it? Impale not landing. The BKB from Miracle buys so much space and time as all oh, uh, epicenter burrow into Kaka finds the two supports. With no buybacks here from Newbie, it, it looks feels like it like should it's be game. game over. Yeah, I don't think they will be able to do anything. SEC known for never giving up. He wants to keep trying. Oh, we're gonna see a nice five-man black hole Kong. I am Meteor Hammer. Come on, let's do it. Not that he's trying to do anything at all. He gets a big Four grab man. though. Infest out, one dead. Mind control gone. Matuma oh Man about to fall as well. This is a lot of damage coming out of Newbie. 
Nice team fight win for them as they can catch and chase for more. Kuroki will be another collateral kill here. He will and never give up. He will try to win until the very end. That was a very nice four-man grab with the Aghanims there. But uh, in the end, they did lose their Mega Creep as well. But he's going for the Heat Blade instead. Mana leaking mid. Just going to bother Kaka a little bit. He yules himself. Fight is going to happen mid. Kind of backing out. Kuro spotted. Kuro is running in, but again, he has an Aeon Disc. You don't want to all in on him and then end up not being able to kill him even. The gem coming in, mind control. Finally spot oh, yeah. the Observer Ward. They found a pick on Kotal. Good start. Yeah, and even around. Every, everyone's buying nullifiers now. We've got one on TA, one being built by Life Stealer. The Dragonite's trying to finish off one as well. Yeah. Storms are zip forward. They caught Miracle's Templar Assassin, but a good forest strike makes this a, No, never mind. There's no saving. Impaled. There's no saving. Great impale from Kaka manages to keep the fight going the way of newbies. They chase Kuroki now, trying to find the kill on the ancient apparition. A few more hits will do He's the job of SC. Lincoln's pop now. The epicenter wound up. Will force the suicide. Takes his life. Pass the TV away. Good for a strike continuation gets the Bane, but that should be the end of that. Buyback from uh, Miracle here wants to end it right now. I'm not sure that I'm a massive fan of the buyback since Storm is respawning quite quickly, but I guess they're going to get the Aegis during this time. And with the Aegis on TA, they work. Red numbers everywhere. <laughs> Love them. It's a lovely item. What do we have here? Yeah. Cheese, Refresher, DK. Miracle, of course, after that buyback just now. Bane does have a buyback to come back into this, and I think we'll we'll bring up that tap for now. See what's going on, because KP is still on cooldown for a little bit. 270 gold off it, but they're losing tier 4s as these mega creeps are just clearing through the dire base. Newbie still struggling to deal with the, the natural creep push coming in, but a Vortex onto 2 here as SE gets first fucked up with Moody as well. Nice GA from KP, but the Ice Blast should secure this game from Kuroki as the refresher of Matula Man allows another dragon to arrive onto the scene. No buyback from Moody, a buyback from MC will come back with a Sand King and a sick burst strike in. Everyone. Just on melting. One, but it's newbie dead, dead, and deader as uh, the vortex will be the last thing they do. Yeah, get the black hole. Well, the null fire really coming in clutch towards the end there. It even purges off the DA, so very nice way to go through the safety provided by the angel. However, the 